Sports World in Attic. The team of Walter Hardiman of Canton and Ed Appleton of Roslindale will challenge our defending champions, Paul Romani of Westfield and Steve Legenza of Feeding Hills on Candleton Doubles. I'm Brian Leary. You may have remembered watching Mary Legenza last week. Well, she has successfully handed off the baton to her husband, Steve, and her father, Paul Romani. Mary Legenza, winner of four weeks in a row, has made a tough act to follow for her father and her brother. Their husband. I keep getting that wrong. We're going to have to eliminate the family connections here. Uh, they've won three in a row already, so they'll be going for four in a row today. And again, the payoff, $500 goes to the winners. The runners-up pick up $300, $50 in bonus money for three marks in a row, 1000 for three strikes in a row. And of course, should anyone be able to put together two strings of $300, would have an extra payoff of $200 in bonus money. So let's get on to it. Steve Legenza will kick it off for the champs. Steve, married to Mary, has a couple of children. Works for a digital corporation. And Walter Hardiman from Ken. Walter's a school teacher at the Nathan Hale School in Boston. And Steve Legenza opens up with a spare. Walter Hardiman almost opens with spare. Walter is married. He has a high single of 194, a high triple of 451, and an average of 122. Eight on the spare. Steve Legenza has a 187 high single, a 472 high triple, and a 123 average. Just waiting for that piece of wood to settle to see if he can come up here with mark number two. There it is, two in a row. And Walter Hardiman gets his first. So we've yet to leave a pin standing here. Two marks in a second, one more now for Steve Legensa would be worth an extra $50 in bonus money. And it seems a pretty sure thing that he's going to get it. Walter Hardiman with seven on his spare. There it is, three in a row. $50 in bonus money. Walter with nine and 36 through three. Steve is at 47 plus through three. Hung it out a little wide and only two in the spare. Spread right now, 15 pins. 
through the first four. And our lob line judge, Ralph Stewart, does a little wood clearing for us down there. We should call him Admiral Stewart today. He's got his boat shoes on. And no. Well, he's certainly hit it hard enough. Steve takes a 10 and takes a seat with a 68 through the first five and pretty good bowling. Walter Hardiman sits down. He's bowled better, a 9 and 52 at the halfway mark. So with a 52 and a 68 up on the board, we have a 16-pin spread after the first five. Here we go with part two of the opener now. Paul Romani will kick it off and in style with a 9-drop. And Ed Appleton now from Roslindale. takes a 10. I dated Ed a little earlier when I reminded him that I used to watch him bowl in the Tuesday night men's league at the old Park Street bowling alley in West Roxbury, which is no longer there. Ed carries a 119 average. Bulls out of Empire Lanes in Hyde Park now. All but one. Mm. There it is, Ed Appleton all over it for his first mark in the seventh here. Paul Romani takes a 10. So the champs are at 88 through seven. The challengers at 68 plus through seven. So pretty even. We're not pretty even. They're still a good spread, but in a good position to get right back into it. Well, it hung it up there, but lucked out and is still lucking out. It gets seven. And it also has a shot at doubling up here. And there it is. So he got away with a wide one and now has two marks in a row. Good for 85 plus through eight. Paul Romani with a nine and 97 through eight. On the spare. Big hit, but a split. Good spare. Paul Romani in the night. Ed Appleton has a split with some wood. If it goes, it's worth 50 bucks. The champs have already picked up 50 in bonus money. Takes a 10, 103 through 9. Five in the spare, Paul Romani. And his son-in-law, Steve Legenza, at 112.
through nine. Good bid. Well, it tried to be a little too cute, perhaps. It'll settle for two of them now. And a nine box to close it out. So the lead is 10 pins after the opening string. Our defending champions, Paul Romani of Westfield and Steve Legenza of Feeding Hills, open up with a 122. And our challengers, Walter Hardiman of Canton and Ed Appleton of Rosendale, open up with a 112. So a 10 pin spread. We'll be back to see whether the champs can hold on in string number two to decide it all right after this. All right, here we go with string number two now. This will settle it. Ten pin spread. Our defending champs, Steve Legenza and Paul Romani, leading it and trying to hold on here. Walter Hardiman with the four horsemen. Nope, he didn't even look at that. That's what Steve Legens is trying to figure out right now. Do I go inside or outside? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure that's exactly how he had it planned, but that's what he wanted to do. And likewise, Walter Hardiman only one ball too late. So it's still 10, but it will swell as Steve Legenza fills out his spare. Walter Hardiman with a strike in the second. And Steve Legenza with a strike in the second, and that strike comes on the spare. more bonus ball over, over. right in the bucket two on the strike It's a good odd out of that. 29 through 3. Steve Legenza at 47 through 3. Now we should tell you that next week we won't be on, and on instead will be our live True Value Annual Championship Show. The five bowlers. Dan Murphy tops the list with a 4.56. He tops it by 36 pins, Dan, from Concord, New Hampshire. In fact, Dan has rolled five consecutive 400-plus totals on the Candlepin Show and is the current defending champion. Also on the show, Ron Johnston from Sharon with a 4.20. Tom Olsta with a 4.19. Tom from Sturbridge. Rich Pedroli with a 4.15 from Milford and John Miller from Chicopee. John with a 412. So those are the top five for the True Value Annual Championship Show next week. And of course, it'll be live right here on Channel 5. And then we'll be on the week after that with the double show. The championship show starts live at noontime next week. So make sure you mark that down in bold ink on your calendar.
Walter takes nine and 47 at the halfway mark. Steve Leganzer with a nine and 65 at the halfway mark. So overall, it's a 38 pin lead. With five to go, so Les Ed Appleton has a bunch of big boxes in his pocket. And the champs will do it again for the fourth straight week, so we'll see. Seventeen pin lead in this one. And it goes. Paul Romani with a strike in the seventh. Good night. <laughs> Mary Legenza, Paul's daughter, was the one who yelled out for her dad to slow down a little bit. Can't blame him for being eager with another strike here. And maybe a chance to double up. big whoa that Paul let out as soon as he let that go right down the chute. It takes a 10 and 75 through 8. And Paul's going to get out of that with how many? 7. And 92 through 8. So the lead's still 17 here and overall 37 pins. It seems fairly certain that Paul Romani and Steve Legenza are going to do it again. a 37 pin lead obviously a 27 pin lead with just a couple to go and a spare in the night for Paul Romani so that'll seal it up their opposition at next week but the week after that, it will be Brian Uphold from Londonderry, New Hampshire, and Mike Poulin from Hudson, New Hampshire. They'll be trying to stop these guys who are in the process now of winning for the fourth straight week. So even though Paul was kidding us earlier that he had a tough act to follow in his daughter, Mary Legenza, winning with Sharon Rossin for four weeks in a row, dad and husband Steve were able to pull it off here. with a spare in the tenth and Paul Romani with a spare in the tenth so a strike here on top of that would be worth an extra 50 in bonus money a chance have already picked up 50 right off the top of the first string Ed
Ed with seven to finish up with 101. And Paul takes four for a 124. So for the fourth straight time, Paul Romani and Steve Legenza do it. And they do it this time after taking an eight-week vacation to let the women bowl. And now they come back and start winning right as they had done when they left off. So we'll check the totals now. For our champions, Paul Romani and Steve Legenza, opening 122 and a closing 124 for a 246. And for our challengers, Walter Hardiman and Ed Appleton, 112 to go with a 101 and a 213. So it's a 33-pin win for the champions. We'll be back with them and the runners-up right after this. All right, we have a quick goodbye for Walter Hardiman and Ed Appleton, and I'm sure you guys won't mind that because I know you've bowled better on this no. show. Today was awful. Just yeah. terrible. All right, we'll see you again next time. We'll okay. be back. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, Ed Appleton, Walter Hardiman, Paul Romani, and Steve Legenzi. You were saying before you had a tough act to follow, and I guess you did it, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right, That's like about it. Day. You're keeping these checks coming for the Romani and Legenza family, right? It helps. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys again uh, in another week or so. Paul Romani and Steve Legenza will be back not next week, remember, because we have our True Value Championship show live next week, beginning at new time, and then we'll be back the week after that to see if these guys can do it for four in a row, five in a row after that. So for everyone here at Fairway Sports World and Natick now, have a good afternoon.